G'day guys, Wayne and Judy here from Down Under. So what we're going to try and explain to you is probably a bulletproof way of re-gluing the veneer of an antique sewing machine table. You can see this one's looking pretty sad. So with the industrial tables it's a much thicker veneer than what you would normally use. So what we do is having a look under here you can see we've got the table there you may be able to see the glued base under there the, um, the glue was starting to set you can then see a layer of cardboard and then we've got a hardwood straight edge so you may be wondering what on earth is that cardboard for so we'll explain it to you so up this end here, we'll just do this little end here. So you can see the block of wood. So we'll take the clamp off. Take the block off. So if that glue was going to come up and stick to anything there, and we didn't have the cardboard, it would actually stick to the timber, if we had timber straight on there. And once you've got a really strong timber glue there, and if the glue has adhered to it, you've got a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do here is we will lift this off. Right, so you can see where it has actually glued. It's stuck to the cardboard in a few spots, but that's good. So that means we can now just get a light sanding and we can actually take that off. Where if it was timber, when you lift that off, chances are you're going to lift the veneer if, with it or you're going to rip a part of the veneer out. So this cardboard actually serves as sort of like a sacrificial surface. But that way now, if I got on there with a little bit of damp cloth, we would just about take most of that off. So this is just a simple and easy way that we use when we re-veneer. So hopefully this will help you along the way, and good luck with it. Now you can see there, she is sticking to it, but... If that was timber, we'd be in strife. So, good luck and hopefully this little tip will help you when you next attempt re a timber. Good luck and thank you.